what are crawling sensations, what to do about them, all that and more in this video. I'm Dr. Diane at my Lyme doc and crawling sensations are dysfunctions oftentimes of the nervous system. So anytime there's a nervous system component, right, you always want to consider working with a neurologist who can really help you to identify if something's happening with the brain. So it's always good to rule out that bad stuff. Most of the time, it's not the bad things in my experience, but it's good to rule them out. It's important to rule them out, right? Because that's when we know we have time because you're not dealing with something scary. It can also help the nervous system to calm down. So it's really good if you're having any sort of crawling sensations on your skin. It's really good to talk to a neurologist to rule out the bad stuff. And once you've ruled out the bad stuff, it can help calm the system. And that sometimes can also help lessen the symptoms. Sometimes things like crawling sensations can be a result in part. There's a few different things, but sometimes I've seen these sensations worsen with stress, for example. So when we have stress, the symptoms worsen as we have adrenaline and cortisol pumping through our body. So we want to consider that. And so sometimes just helping the nervous system be at ease by ruling out those bad things can also help that symptom. Sometimes it's as simple as something like a nutrient, like a B12 deficiency is a good example of a deficiency of a nutrient that could be leading to crawling sensations. So B12 is really important for healthy nerve conduction. And so sometimes that could be the scenario there. Sometimes I see this as a result of just overarching nervous system inflammation. So I've seen this happen, these crawling sensations happen when people have a lot of toxins. And these toxins can be from mold, they can be from things like metals, they can be things from things like glyphosate and pesticides. And there's not, you know, there's not research on every single one of these things that I'm saying. So just know that. But what I am saying is rooted in what I've seen clinically, which is basically when we do, when we find things like this and we treat them and they, and that crawling sensation goes away, that gives me some clinical data that says, hey, there's probably this relationship here. There certainly needs to be more evidence from a research perspective that's done but i can tell you like i said clinically what i believe is happening based upon clinically what i'm noticing is that the nervous system gets inflamed we know that happens from these toxins and it misfires a signal which the brain then sometimes interprets as all sorts of things it could be misfiring the signal it could be pain for example, it could be spasms, it could be cramping, but it could also be these crawling sensations. So the cool thing I find about doing some of the advanced root cause based tests is when we do these advanced root cause based tests, we are often looking for things like infections or gut problems or toxins or hormone imbalances. And oftentimes when we bring the body back into balance, sometimes these symptoms go away even if we don't 100% know the exact relationship, but we just see that, that change for people. So I hope this has been helpful. Please do subscribe if it has. I will see you in another video.